Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a State of the Asher collection. Uh, we're going to have some really cool models coming out soon from Asher that I'm excited about, and I figured uh, in honor of that, leading up to that, I would do a uh, Asher collection overview. I currently have, I think, eight, one, two, uh, two four, six, eight Ashers. I've had many more. Um, I've had a couple of these, a couple of these, a uh, few of these. Uh, a couple of these, um, the flashback is a, is a um, liner lock G10 version of this. I think it's a little smaller as well. Uh, maybe missing something, um, but I've had almost every one of their knives except for the, um, the classic. And uh, I've given away a bunch. That's where those went um, because Justin is awesome. And uh, he sends me the knives to review when they come out, and I usually keep one of each, and then he'll send me other ones to give away a lot. Um, and then when I have multiples, like I had multiples of this knife, I gave one away to a cousin who needed a knife. Um, I gave the Century 2.0 away to uh, Joe from Lancelot Leather, so try to help people out as well, because I know Justin would appreciate that. Um, so I do want to say up front, um, everything I do related to Asher Knife Co. is only possible because of the amazing guy behind Asher Knife Co. And that is Justin. Uh, he's a great dude. He named his company after his kid. I mean, you can see right there the guy has a heart. Um, he's just an awesome dude. We've had him on the live stream before. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited for what's going on with Asher and really proud of the guy for what he's done. So, uh, great job, Justin. Two thumbs up from Lefty. Uh, um, but yeah, so I wanted to go over the collection real quick that I have and, and talk about it. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So let's see. Let's start from like the first one, right? Now, it's not the first one I've owned, but um, you know, the oldest one out of these, I believe, is the Silva. Uh, this was probably the second Asher knife I ever bought. I bought the Sentry, which is kind of like this, but a harpoon-shaped blade uh, first. Uh, but I bought this one second. It's a titanium frame lock flipper with S35 VN steel, and it was $98.50. This is called the Silva. Fantastic flipper tab, excellent detent, and out-of-the-box action is just dumb. Um, you're just not going to find a deal like this on a knife with this good of action and materials, um, fit and finish, all that stuff. It's just really hard to beat. It really is trying to get Justin to do a second run of these, but this is the Silva guys and it is an excellent knife. I still carry this, uh, occasionally. I mean, it's not going to be an everyday type thing just because of the knives I have. And I'm always going through new knives and reviewing knives. But the fact that this makes it in pocket after having it for over a year, uh, to me, is impressive. Because it doesn't happen very often. I absolutely love the Asher Silva. Look at that awesome grind. It is a saber grind or flat grind, whatever you want to call it. S35 VN steel. Sexy little swedge right here. Simple frame lock. You don't have any issues as a lefty. Sorry, that was totally me. Uh, you don't have any issues as a lefty flicking it. Uh, you, I mean, yeah, if you bear down on the lock bar, you know. Nope, even then. So, uh, it carries extremely well with this deep carry clip. It's dead centered. It's just an excellent, excellent piece from Asher Knife Co. Probably my favorite, to be honest. Um, then I have the uh, Spiro prototype. So, this is the first, like, early knife that Justin sent me. Um, he was working on this. He got the, he got a few prototypes and I was one of the lucky people who got to check it out. Um, and I absolutely thought it was a really cool knife, but I saw some things I would change. Um, the G10 is a little squared off. The thumb studs are a little bit stabby, like, or they're a little small, so they kind of get you a little bit. Um, I'd say access to the liner lock is a little bit, uh, tough. I'm not a big fan of the yellow. Um, there were some things, right? This one, I think, has detent lash, but that was just, you know, it's a prototype, and it was just this one. Um, so then he came out with the production model. And you can actually get this with big thumb studs, I think, so they're a little bit bigger 
than this, but these are already better than these. Um, they don't look different, but they feel different. I could tell you that much. So, uh, at least for me, anyway, I get a better, you know, grip under there. I don't feel like I'm getting poked by them at all. Uh, it feels really good. The access to this liner lock is fantastic on this one. And he went with this contoured G10. You can see it's just so much nicer than that. Um, you have a JG10 backspacer, so you can dye that any color you want. I think that's an upgrade over uh, yellow. Um, but all in all, this knife coming out of this just is really cool. I mean, you can see the changes. Look at the, right in this area, there's a big change. You have a much better, you know, kind of choil here to grab into. Um, and the Spiro has become a staple of the Asher, you know, knife company. I mean, it's just an excellent knife. And now it's available in multiple fashions, right? Um, and we might as well hit those and then we'll go to the other knives. So I'm kind of going out of order here. But so this is the Spiro, or uh, ah, shit, Kev. This is the Spiro liner lock. Then he came out with a frame lock in titanium. Are you kidding me? Look at these big studs. <sighs> Guys, this is my favorite Asher knife, so I apologize. I said that was. That's my second favorite. This is my favorite, and I carry this one a few times a month because I just need to get it in pocket because I love it so much. Uh, it's got some weight to it because it's full titanium slabs with no milling. You gotta, you know, he's gotta keep it under hundred bucks, guys. Reversible deep carry clip. I love those big studs. I actually have Gillian bearings in here. Um, detent is spot on. Ergos are spot on. It's just a cool knife, like temperature wise, because of the titanium. It just is such a good knife. This blade is exceptional. You can see he always uses a thin stock. I absolutely love that about his knives. The action on it is just dumb. It's dead nut centered. This is a masterpiece from Asher. And you can get one of these for like $90. I don't think you can use my discount code lefty10 because it's like all titanium and he's already, you know, keeping it under a hundred bucks. But $90 for this is ridiculous. You should definitely see if you can get one. If you don't see some of these things on his website, you can always message him at Asher Knife or Asher Knife Co. on Instagram. He may have something he could find for you. Um, don't hesitate. Justin's an awesome dude. And if you can't get a hold of him, I will say sometimes his Instagram is jacked up. That's not his fault. It's just, I don't know what it just happens to him. Um, you can always hit me up at Lefty EDC and I'll bug them for you. Uh, no problem. Um, so wait, sorry. So that was the Frame Lock Spiro in titanium and S35. Then he has this coming out. So this is a prototype. There's no clip. Um, it will have a reversible clip and it's going to be in this kind of color, like a grayish blue color, not this blue, which originally he asked me like, uh, I'm going to do this Spiro flipper. Uh, I was thinking about doing this blue color, and he sent me this, and I was like, ugh, you know, that, I don't know, it's a little too flashy, and then he sends me the prototype, I'm like, yes, that's awesome, and then he said, oh, I switched it to this, <laughs> I was like, you bastard, <laughs> uh, this is a flipper version of the Spiro, so let me clear these out, actually, I can show you the kind of evolution of this thing, it's pretty cool, so prototype comes first. Liner lock comes second, right? Frame lock in titanium comes third. And then, oh, sorry. Flipper comes fourth. How cool is that? I just think that's awesome. Look at this thing. Just so cool to see this knife evolve. Oh, got some oil in there. Guys, this blade, I mean, look how thin that is. And look at this grind. It's just dumb. Um, this is going to be an exceptional EDC knife. There's no jimping on it. Now, I don't know. I think he might have made some changes from this prototype, so keep that in mind. But you have an inset liner lock with nested liner, so that's kind of a difference here, right? This doesn't have inset liners, does it? I guess it does. I guess it does. I'm sorry. I take that back. But this one feels a little bit thinner. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit thinner, but I could be wrong. Blade stock thinner? 
I don't know. It's hard to tell, but it's fucking thin. All right, I'm leaving them open. So, yeah, there's no jimping, so you don't have any on the lock bar release either. You can slide that over. Drop it shut. Now, I was having a little trouble with the flipper tag because there is no jimping on it. Because he hates jimping, right? I do have oil all over my hands right now from a disassembly, so keep that in mind. I thought the push button was really nice on this guy. Um, and I was thinking that may be the way to go with this knife. Because trying to do the light switch, you can do it. It just kind of feels like maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. But it seems like I always get it. Uh, oh, okay. okay. But the push button just feels good. I don't know why. Especially when you don't have oil all over your hands. It just feels very natural to push button this knife. And if you look at the Ergo, sorry, Jesus. It's a little different. Right? Compared to the other Spiros. And I think it's just a little more neutral. And for me, it just feels so comfortable in my hand. It's one of those knives that I feel like, and I said this about the Roosevelt, so, you know, it's not. I'm not saying that it's cheap. I'm saying it feels like I could break it, like I could just bend this blade and snap the lock. That's how comfortable it feels in my hand that I can get that strong of a grip. You know, I'm like really, really squeezing right now, and it just feels really good in hand. Um... So I really like that. You can flex these a little bit, but I mean, it's not like crazy or anything. It's not like a bug out, but good action. I mean, this is going to be a really, really cool knife. I think people are going to love this. Um, so that is the Spiro Flipper. So that's the Spiro family, which I really, really love this knife. Um, just an excellent, excellent design by Justin. And it has evolved. Um you know, all the way from that first prototype to what we have now, right? Then there's the Nomad. So, the Nomad 2.0 here, it originally came with a Axis style lock like this. Uh, there was a 1.0, this is the 2.0. It is on bearing. So, when you pull this Axis lock, style lock, he doesn't, he just calls it, he doesn't even have a name for it. So, call it the Asher lock. It just drops. I mean, you pull that Asher lock and the bearings go to work and it just guillotines shut. It's so much fun compared to an Axis lock to on uh, washers. You can Spidey flick it. You can thumb flick it. You can Axis flick it. You can do all the things, right? This right here was my outdoor work knife for a long time until I got my G10 Quiet Carry Drift. Uh, and I still pick it up occasionally. It has an excellent grind, thin uh, not too thin, but thin uh, stock, excellent uh, saber grind, flat grind, again, whatever you call it, um, and S35 VN blade, just very comfortable in hand, very neutral handle, uh, again, one of those knives I feel like I could just break uh, in a good way, and it's fun and fidgety, um, versatile deep carry clip, there's just not much more you could ask for on this. It's obviously going to be heavier than something like a bug out, but it's sturdier than something like a bug out, in my opinion. Um, so I love this knife. Then he came out with the ultimate EDC, guys. This is the Nomad frame lock. Now, this is a steel frame lock. And that's where the exciting stuff comes. Uh, very, very soon, there's going to be a full titanium version of this frame lock. So it'll be a titanium frame lock with titanium show side, and it's going to be M390, and it's going to be right around $100. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So look at this knife. It's dead centered. Um, it is so freaking thin. It's ridiculous. This knife is thin. It's thinner than that. Uh, the Spiro is a thin knife. I mean, it's just bananas how thin this knife is. Oh, sorry. And that's what he was going for. So you flick it out and you get this thin blade stock. S35VN has an excellent grind, comes down to a thin edge. And you just get such a comfortable yet thin knife. This thing disappears in the pocket. Look at this lock bar. I mean, that's how thin this thing is. The lock bar almost goes all the way to the other side just on a normal lock up. Great action, on bearings of course, 
just, I mean, I can reverse flick it. Oh, can I? Lock bar. Told you I got oil on my hands. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, G10 show side. Just It comes in a version with G, uh, JG10 if you want to dye it. Reversible deep carry clip. I mean, just come on. Come on. Just a cool knife. I cannot wait for the titanium variant of this. So that's the Nomad. I think there's another one come. No, I don't know. There's a Spiro Nomad mix coming out, which looks cool. And then lastly, we have the Flashback. No, this is the uh, the Grandy. This is the newest knife in the uh, the line as of right now, I think. And this is kind of a uh, traditional looking style knife with the clip point. You know, traditional style overall, yet it's a frame lock, steel frame lock flipper on bearings. Excellent detent. That's one of the things Asher always nails is detent. That's why I appreciate him so much. This one here, S35VN steel. Again, steel frame lock. If you do it right handed, it'll drop to your nail. Shake down. I've disassembled this and... Uh, Mess with it, so it was probably better beforehand. <laughs> um, centering is... It's always hard to tell for me when there's... Um, it's hard for me to tell when the, the, the show side and the lock side have different scales, but I think it's a little off. No, I think it's dead nuts, yeah. Um, just a cool knife. It does have a fuller. Yeah, there's no play in there. Uh, it does have a fuller here that you can get into... And again, I'm left-handed, so the fuller, and I gotta get on the clip. There you go. Flicked it out. Now, if you're right-handed, this is gonna be, again, I'm not right-handed. I'm doing a terrible job here. Wow, Kev, come on, dude. There we go, jeez, that looked like an accident, too. <laughs> um, but a cool knife, nonetheless. Very ergonomic. Uh, I believe this one's available right now, and it's like 60 bucks, and you get S35VN. Like, come on. So those are my Asher knives, and I just wanted to shout them out. I wanted to talk about it. Love me some Asher. Love me some Justin over there. And uh, go check them out, asherknifeco.com. Like I said, I do have a discount code for 10% off your order, Lefty10. I don't get commission or anything i do get free knives he sends me knives to review and he sends me knives to give away to you guys so it's kind of a win-win for everybody uh, i would not recommend them if i didn't think they were a good value and for the price they're amazing like no these aren't like riot built knives you're getting for a hundred dollars but you're getting great quality and a good value for that price so and if you have any issues with customer service, um, I mean, if you have any issues with the knife, like let's say you get one and, you know, it's not centered or there's something wrong with it. You get lock stick or something. All you do is reach out to Justin and he'll fix that shit in a sec. I mean, he will, you know, you want me to send you another one? You want me to correct it? I'll take care of it. Whatever. The guy is awesome. So uh, you don't have to worry about anything. You know, it's a Chinese made knife, but... Your customer service and your warranty is 100% covered in the U.S. He's going to take care of that shit for you. He hand assembles basically every knife that he sends out. So he's going to make a mistake every once in a while. You know what I mean? Um, and he'll fix that no problem. And yeah, this is definitely my favorite right here. Spiro, full tie. Oh my God. S35VN. Um... Oh, yeah, I had another one of these with a G10 show side, and I gave it to my local buddy Joe. I gave it to his son, I think. So I always spread the love when it comes to Asher, and so does he. So check them out, guys, asherknives.com. Um, Lefty10 is the code. Have any questions, hit me up at LeftyEDC on Instagram in the comments here. Let me know what you think of Asher. Um, are you excited for the new releases? Man, I cannot wait for that M390 Nomad. I am just dying to try that thing. So, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.